Uh, how to deal with subconscious problems which are not seen, which are not clear seen? There is no conscious, there is no subconscious. That way I say because of the body knowledge. What is subconscious, what is the conscious? There is no conscious, no subconscious. This guy is having conscious, subconscious. What you are making statement because of the body only. Not to being aware of subconscious, conscious is there. There is no conscious. Conscious, subconscious, we say because we are in, within the body. If the body is not there, after living body, what is subconscious and conscious? These are also concepts. But you accepted it and giving color of the intellectual approach. See, intellectual guessing. There is no subconscious, conscious, no conscious is there. Not to bring any consciousness was there. After living body, any consciousness is there. Any subconscious is there. Nothing is there. Because within this body, we are, we are within this body, through intellects we are trying to guess something, place or place before us. This is some kind of sub subconscious body, is a conscious body, a subtle body, non subtle body, stellar body, and so, so mind, ego, into this. all these concepts, these are words. You are beyond and beyond that. Just compare it like a sky. Sky is having a subconscious body. Tell me, does sky is having a subconscious body, conscious body? You are beyond sky. So far you are measuring yourself this body form, therefore there is this concept of conscious of body. These are the only words. Nothing is there. Because you are omnipresent. Your presence is everywhere. You are not body at all. You are, ne you are never body. The shape is not going to remain constant. All our talking with the help of the shape. Body based movement. You are not body, you are not body, you are not going to remain body. After living body, where is the subconscious consciousness is there? Who knows what is subconscious? Who knows what is unconscious? Nothing is there. This concept came along with the physical body, food body. So therefore, I am asking that what you read and earlier, what you read, forget it after knowing the reality. You are a reality everywhere, just like a sky, a space. The presence is everywhere. <coughs> and Ramba Swami said, no birth, no death. Nabha Sarke Rupiya Raghavaji. Says, your root means ultimate to reject like a Nabha means a sky. This Ram, Raghav is Ram, it is called Ram, you know Raghav? Yes. You know? So he says, your Raghav is not that uh, so, the son, Ya Raghavati, he says. This means, through which you are talking, through which you are listening, through which you are watching, through which you are doing all the activity. The ultimate truth, that invisible truth, that enormous truth, is shapeless, there is no form. So that is just like a sky, Nava means sky. Sky is everywhere. Sky does not have any existence, I know I am sky. Sky does not have no other that I am sky. So there is no body at all. Where is the body? After living body, what remains? Which body remains? We are guessing because we have read so many books. And after reading so many books, after listening from various sources, we are creating some so called spiritual concepts. We are creating some vicious circle, and within that vicious circle, we are trying to fix ourselves. I am somebody else. So, conscious, subconscious body, not a thing. It is just for understanding. Then you are not body at all. Basically, you are not body at all. You are not body. Just see. Proud to being which body you are holding. Tell me. Proud to being in age. Do you know anybody? Is there consciousness, unconsciousness? What is it called? All these terms and everything come along with the body, this body, physical body, food body. After leaving this food body, what consciousness remains? What subconscious remains? And what is the use of all this? A spiritual knowledge is meaning, meaningless. Spiritual knowledge directing your, your identity. What you consider yourself, it is not your identity at all. Through this body, what you consider yourself, that identity is not your at all. 
are totally separate. I told you that the entire world projected out of your presence. Your body is beyond the world, not limited with this. Therefore, you have to forget all you really deserve after knowing the reality. That conviction support you, that knowledge support be absorbed. What do you read, what do you listen, the pricking from backside, you are receiving, receiving. No knowledge is knowledge. No knowledge is knowledge. When there is no experience, no experience, sir. No witness, no witness, sir. There is no I, no he, she, nothing is there. There is no concept of God, devotee, edition, deity, master, disciple, no, no, nothing, nothing is there. All this concept came along with the body only. Do you know God and God is prior to being this? After living body, what is the use of their God and Goddesses? After living this body, what is the use of their God and Goddesses? Do you know any God and Goddesses? So all needs are requirement because of the body tolerate the body, but body knowledge is not tolerated. And therefore, not to jump in spiritual knowledge. It is a trench. Just to know it, forget it. A lot of so-called spiritual knowledge there. Talking of Brahman, Atman, Paramatma, Gaur, Maya, Ashtada, Prakriti, they are Polish words. Subconscious body, conscious body, who knows? If this, this body is what is the conscious body, the conscious body? How so called knowledge would be helpful at the time of living your body? Nothing either. So everything came out of nothing, everything dissolved of nothing. You are there and there only. We are talking about the unborn child. And therefore, and this is unless there is meditation. Meditation will declare your all concepts. Who is conscious? Is sky is conscious or unconscious? Subconscious is there? Nothing is there. All reply within you. Just see within you. From where the question are coming out? Who is experiencing thoughts flowing for inside? Who is experiencing thoughts flowing inside? Who is witness, witnessing thoughts inside? From where are these thoughts are coming? Who is talking? Who is listening? Who feel good and bad? Our answers are within you. Because you are source of our entire world, not limited with the body. Suppose in the next morning there is no consciousness, there is no awareness, this body dissolves. What remains? What identification remains? Just, just imagine early morning or mo next morning, and nothing gone away. <coughs> presence disappears from the presence, disappears from the body. What consciousness, what subconsciousness, what God? What master or disciple? Okay. So all our talks through body based. But through body based you can identify yourself. So too much reading also creates so many problems. Anything excess will do. Up to knowing the reality, no need. It should not be temptation to go and go study of the spiritual knowledge. The gist of spiritual knowledge, except your self is nothing is there. Gist of spiritual knowledge, except your self is nothing is there. You are a Brahman, you are Atman, you are Paramatma, you are God, you are Martha. But not accepting that. It's a deep impression of this so-called spiritual knowledge. Where everything ends, there you are. There is no knowledge, nothing is there.
All these books are giving direction, sir. signaling you, sir. Inviting attention of the invisible listener within you. But you are ignoring it because there's so many concepts engraved inside. Because we are in so many books, spiritual. This Gita, that Gita, that book, that book, that book. Reading is not bad. But what they want to convey that is most important. We are tying within that words. We are tying ourselves within that words. And that words creating confusion inside. With the result we are distracting from the reality. You are a reality. It's a fact. You are also supposed to proud of being this. After living body any concept remain. Who knows what is the Brahman, Atman, Paramatma, God? Names are given to supernatural power through which you are acting. It is plain truth. So whatever assets in the form of this body, spiritual assets, are you have to dispose of it. Because you are a large destiny. There is no terminal beyond that. You are final truth, you are ultimate truth. Where there is no body, nothing is. Okay.